All right, you guys. So this is our content and calendar planning Zoom. It is Friday, November 3rd. We are going to be working on our calendars and content for next week, which we're going to start off on Monday, November 6th and go through Sunday, November 12th. So my name is Kelly Hoover. If I haven't had a chance to meet you, I'll change my name here. Um, but I, um, the way that I like to personally lead these is first off, if you have any questions or ideas or anything, please share them in the chat. Um, or if you have any questions or anything, you can certainly um, unmute yourself. I do a pretty good job of paying attention to the chat. Um, we do record them um, mainly because some people can't get on during this time. So hopefully you guys always will have a recording if you can't get on. And my best advice is if you can't get on at this time, I try to always be on um, because it gives me an hour and then everything goes smoothly in the week. Like when I don't plan it, I know I don't plan it. So if you can't get on at this time and you're watching the recording, because I know a lot of people do, please just map out a time that works good for you, Friday night, Saturday, Sunday, so you can go in with a plan. So we're going to first start off on um, Monday the 6th and kind of talk about that. The first thing that I always like to do with my planner is I like to look at the week and kind of see what I already have on the week. So if you have a, a job that you're doing outside of this, if you're going somewhere, if you have doctor's appointment, um, if you have anything of that nature, it's a really great thing to like go in and put that on there first. You're non-negotiables, right? So I like, I look at my calendar for next week and this is what it looks like already. And I haven't even blocked off. Those are like the things that are already planned, right? So it already is pretty full. So I'll go in and these are the things that are like already scheduled, already non-negotiable for me. So I would put that first. The second thing I would put down is the things that serve you. So if you're a reader, if you, um, you know, do devotionals, pray, you go work out, whatever it is that fills up your bucket. So you can make sure that you're showing up as your best. So put that on your calendar and then you can put in where you're going to work your business. And I like to be very intentional when I am going to sit down. So if I know I want, I'm going to work my business this amount of time this is what I'm going to be doing I like to to mark it down in my calendar so when I get to that day at that time I'm just not like scrolling on social media or anything like that so um we're gonna I'm gonna set the timer for um 15 minutes and we are going to start working through our calendar. If you get done before that, if you just want to type into the meeting chat, like done. And if we're done bef all done before the 15 minutes, we will um, go on and start um, doing our content. But um, other things to think about is your team calls. Um, are you doing any live videos? Like go on and set those up and go on and send out invitations for that. The Thrive and Mingles, you guys, are amazing. You get a 15% off code for you and the person you're doing it with. So reach out and ask people if they want to be interviewed, interview people on your team, your customers, especially now with everything going on with the customer referrals. Okay. So I'm going to set the timer and we will get started.
Hey, you guys, those of you who've already joined, we've already started. So we're in the calendar planning right now. So we have about 14 more minutes of that, and then we'll start our content.
I have about six and a half minutes left, you guys. Okay, you guys, time is up. Um, all right, so we're going to go into the content planning. Again, if you are new, um, please don't hesitate to like ask any questions. Um, you can type them in the chat or you can just unmute yourself. Um, but basically, I'm going to share the next part of it is I will share a few ideas with you guys for your content for um, next week, November 6th through the 12th. I'll give you a few ideas specifically for um, each day and then just a few general ideas and then we will I will mute out again and give you some time to like really work on your content. Um, what I love about scheduling this hour on Fridays is the fact that you can truly just jam out a lot. You may not get it all written but you can at least get your ideas down and probably even get to some of the posts that are written. Okay so 
Um, I'm just going to give you a few just general ideas that can kind of fill in the blanks and then we'll start day by day. Um, if you have not shared like a client's like or one of your customers or promoters testimony, that is a really good thing. Um, you can either do that live. You could plan that as part of your content, a live thrive and mingle, um, or you can kind of share them over text or over a reel. Um, some other things that you can share is um, you can always answer a question. So if you get like a common question about things, about the DFTs or about any sort of um, things that are like commonly asked to you, those are always really great things to respond to, but respond to in a um, content, right? So that is really great. Um, a few other ideas I had wrote down for you is if you like share something funny, like a meme or um, something that's funny that's related to like the audience that you're serving, um, ask an engaging question. I always like to make sure at least sometime during the week I plan an engaging question because that's always great to get people to kind of come back to you. Do remember also that what we have going on with um the customers being able to share and earning extra incentives this month. So um, kind of be aware of that promo that came out yesterday and how you want to maybe build some of your content around that. Um, a few other things that you could do is you could also like debunk like a myth or kind of like a, something that people think about the Thrive experience or network marketing in general. Um, a lot of times, like I like to talk specifically about people think there's so much caffeine in the Thrive experience. So that's kind of like debunking uh, a myth or um, something that people think about the product. And so just calling it out and like bringing it out in your content. Okay. So those are a few ideas for just general content in general. So Mondays, um, think about Monday, November 6th. Um, specifically, I'm looking to see if there's like any international days. Um, specifically, like, what do you want to talk about on Monday? Think about your ideal client and your avatar. What do they feel like on Mondays? I know a lot of times I talk specifically about like mindset or motivation or maybe how I felt before Thrive on Mondays. Um it is um, next week, just in general, is um, National Recycling Week and talk about money week. So if you're into that and that fits you, you could always talk about that. Um, but Monday, just kind of think about what, how you want to kick off your week with your content. Um, November 7th, Tuesday, um, it is election day. So if you have that going on, I know different places have different things um, going on, but that is um, election day. In a lot of areas, it's, um, let me see here, it's National Cancer Awareness Day, so that could always be a cool thing to talk about, um, the TAC, DFT, or maybe if, if cancer has impacted, um, you know, your life recently, that's something that you could always talk about. Um, also, Tuesday is payday, so you could always, it's a great time to really bring up the business or to talk about one of the things that you love about the business and getting a residual paycheck. Okay, so Wednesday is November 8th. Um, a lot of times people will talk about like a wellness tip or, um, you know, something specific to like living a healthier lifestyle. Um, this day is National Cappuccino Day. So if you were a coffee drinker um, and you've kind of cut that habit, you could talk about something specifically about cappuccinos um, and maybe the cost or the... Um, sugar and calorie content in that, that would be kind of something that would be easy to transition into. Um, let's see here. It's also National Talk Money Day. So you could do that. And if you don't know about these days, you guys, I'm going to actually like put the link that I always use. I'm going to put it into the chat because the link that I use for it is it actually, you can go in and you can get details about it. So you can just click on like talk money day and it gives you how this day came about, gives you resources about it. So that's kind of cool. Um, Thursday, November 9th, one of the things that you could talk about is like a transformation, your own transformation, someone else's transformation. You could do physical transformations. You can always grab those off of the Lavelle Facebook page. Um, also, it's not just about physical transformations, right? It could be financial transformations. It could be mindset. It could be anything where you feel like you've been better, or maybe this is where you highlight one of your customers. Um, that's always a great thing to talk about on Thursdays um, is also National Grace Day, like give someone grace. So that's kind of cool. It's kind of more of like an appreciation. So you could always share a story 
um, or something like that. Maybe show a little bit of vulnerability on Thursday. Um, okay, so Friday, November 10th, a lot of people like to post on Friday's Flex Friday talking about a specific DFT. So you could post something about that, talk specifically about the products. Um, it is National DTC, Direct to Consumer Friday. So that's kind of cool. I didn't even know that existed um, next Friday. So you could talk, you know, specifically about, um, you know, skipping the middleman. Like you can, you get their Lavelle products specifically. Um, it is direct to consumer. So that is pretty cool that you can do that. Let's see here. It's also um, United States Marine Corps Day. So if you have a Marine in your life or you're patriotic, that would be a great thing to bring awareness to. Um, Saturday, November 11th is Veterans Day, which you probably already know that. Um, so that's probably like the biggest day um, here in the United States. And then Sunday, um, and a lot of times on Saturdays, I specifically like to talk about, you got to remember there are different people that are on Facebook and Instagram and social media on the weekends that are not on during the week. So kind of think about your content from that standpoint too. You could share something vulnerable, um, something that kind of draws attention. Sunday, November 12th is, um, let's see if there's anything good to share with y'all. Um, let's see here. National French, fr French dip day. So like French dip sandwiches. Um, I don't know why that stuck out to me, but like I used to eat a lot of fast food before thrive. So that would be something that I could easily like share a story about. Um, it's also, let's see here. That's it. That's really all the ones I see that would be probably relevant to us. Our, yeah. Okay. There you go. So there you go. Arby's French dip is your go-to. So, so you could always tell the story about how you stopped doing that, you know, because it's not, it's, it is pretty cool, right? That you stop, it, Thrive helps you stop like some bad habits, right? So Sunday is another day that you could talk about like how you set your week up, um, you know, how maybe you used to dread Sundays, but now you don't. So those are some ideas, you know, also would think about planning your content out, like what type of content are you going to have? Is it going to be like still a photo and a post? Are you going to make reels? Or are you going to go live um, specifically? And I would mix it up. I would try to do what is working and try to analyze your content. What is really working for you? Um, okay, so we have about 35 minutes. So hopefully you can get to work. That gives you some ideas to get started with. Certainly unmute or drop in the comments any sort of questions that you have. Um, but I will mute out so you guys can get to work and I can too.
Hey, Callie. Hello? All right. Um, so suppose like during the week you don't have actual like three ways set up, you know, to uh, connect with your upline. Um, could you, let's say, carve out certain parts of that day, like three or four areas? That way, when you do reach out, um, be like, all right, well, I'll connect with you at this time. So that way it's already you've got it carved out in your day, even though there's no one there yet. It's kind of like time slots. Yeah. You mean just like for people you're going to talk to, just so you have it on on your your sponsor's calendar? Is that what you mean? Hold on. I'm trying to. Yeah. Like, um, so for instance, um, I usually try to, we try to make sure we set up our three ways, let every get it scheduled the day beforehand. Right. But let's say there's Thursday next week. Um, I'm not sure when anyone's available, but I'm going to go ahead and put in my calendar, like, all right, at three 30, at four 30, at like six 30, that 30 minute increment right there. That's where I'm going to just fill them in. Yeah. I mean, as long as that works for the person who you're trying to get on the phone, um, I know for me that probably wouldn't work because I try to just give people like how I usually do that is just say like, Hey, here I look at my calendar and I say, here's what's available, what time works for you. And I give them a few options. Um, but I think it's great because if you get to that time and you don't have somebody to call on a three-way, then you, you know, you can do some reach outs and try to get, say, Hey, can you talk right now? You know? So I think, yeah, it's smart. Try it out and see if it works for you. Yeah. Cause I mean, I'll, I mean, I'm usually kind of like, no, I don't have anyone, but let's say like I'm talking to someone and they want to talk tomorrow and be like, all right, cool. Well, I'm going to put them in that time slot. Then I'm going to reach out to my people be like, uh, are you available at this time? Like, or can I please have this time if, as long as it's like a day or two in advance? Yeah, perfect. Okay. I was just making sure that was like, I didn't know if I should do that in 30 minute increments or possibly like do it an hour because then boom, I've got from six to seven, I could have potentially two calls. Yeah. Yeah. I think either one works, whatever your time frame you know, allows for, I say, go for it. I mean, if you okay. have it blocked off, I would say block it off. Okay, cool. Yeah. Cause, um, I know I'm staying home all the time with my kiddos and people are like, well, you get to stay home and um, you're able to work your business more, but um, kids are five, uh, six and two. So it's not as easy as it. Right, right, right. Be. Well, and plus you don't want to be on your phone all the time either, right? So you want to be. Right. Safe, so and yeah. I felt like I've done that a few times and I'm trying to delegate yeah. a little bit more. Yeah, yeah, no, that's great. And thank you so much, Carlene, for putting those national days in there. Katrina, she... um. She put a few things in there. And Alicia, we are um, finishing up our content. We have about 19 more minutes, okay? Okay, no worries. Thank you. You're welcome.
Hey, Kelly, one more thing. I saw on your Facebook about your detox um, and I was reading up on it. Yeah. If for your first 90 days, you should do a detox. Um, you can do it anytime. I try to do it every three to four months. So I'm on day three right now. Um, so yeah, I mean, I, I do it every three to four months. That's kind of the recommendation. Um, you shouldn't do it any less than that. Like you shouldn't do it less than 90 days. Um, but yeah, you can do it every 90 days, but can, you can um, while you're doing it. Okay. In a way, could you like, give me a brief explanation, uh, as to why? Cause I kind of understand, but something I can just explain to my promoters and customers as to like, Hey, this is why it's, we offer the detox and why it's beneficial. Like just in general. Um, mm -hmm. so it is like a, um, cleanse and a detox. So basically like, if you think about the food that you eat, you think about the things you put on your skin, the things that you breathe in, not only in your home and your car, everywhere you go, like there's just toxins everywhere. Um, and so basically what this detox does is it eliminates um, all like the toxins. It's a heavy metal detox. So like all the heavy metals that are in your body, it eliminates it from all of your organs. It's like a complete organ detox. So your skin, your liver, your kidneys, everything. So there's a diet that when you purchase it comes with it. Um, the main thing that I, um, that, you know, is, I guess affects like me, you can't have any plant protein. So you can't have like meat, chicken, um, things like that. You can't have milk, you can't have like, you know, breads and things like that. It's mainly like, uh, fruits and vegetables and beans and, um, those sort of things that you eat. Um, but you can't do the capsules. You can't do the life stomachs, but you can wear a DFT and a lot of the other products you can do. You can't take like balance and stuff, but, um, yeah, if you go into your cloud office, there's like a whole little like educational section on the detox and it kind of gives it like a breakdown of the diet and all that kind of stuff. Does that make okay. sense? Yeah, yeah, it does. I just took a couple notes off that. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. I can send you, I'll shoot you over. Um, I have like a video that I made about like things to prep for. I did it after my very first one because I was really scared to do the detox because I had done a lot of like cleanses before that I hated. They were terrible. Um, and so I was really nervous about it when I did it. I did it two years ago when we first came out with it. And so I recorded myself like right when I got done with it two years ago. So I could, you know, understand now I've done it a lot. So now I know exactly like what I eat. I eat the same thing every time I do it. So, um, but yeah, it's good. I mean, it, I really like it. The first day or two for me, um, are a little bit tougher because I struggle really severely with headaches. Um, but I've kind of learned that if I take heat, heat, like, well, I don't like heat. So it's the only time I take it, but it knocks my headaches out. So I really only this time had a headache for like the first day and maybe to like 10 o'clock yesterday. And then it was gone, which is the shortest ever. Normally I have like three or four days. So yeah, I'll send you some info on it. All righty. Thank you so yeah, much. You're welcome. All right, you guys. So we have right at, um, uh, time is up. So, um, I'm glad, hopefully you guys got a lot done. I know I did. I'm going to continue to, um, work on my own for a little bit, but I would tell you if you didn't finish, like set some time aside that you can go back and kind of work on and getting these things laid out. And, um, it's just a really great thing. Like as you're, when you're doing your calendar planning next time, go in and block off time, um, to really do, you know, get your content and keep a list of the things that maybe you need to, to record or what you're going to do. So, um, thanks for joining me. We'll see you next week, every day next week, Monday through Friday, 10 a.m. working Zoom, and then again next Friday for the content planning at 12. All right, see you guys.